everyone welcome back to five day crypto my name is chase happy monday are you having fun yet probably not these prices suck we don't want to keep going down but at the end is got to be somewhere nearby okay we're gonna have a turnaround we don't just keep going down forever a lot of indicators suggest the end may be near now when i say near i don't mean the next five minutes i mean over the next several weeks to maybe a month or two uh but we're close okay let's be patient we'll keep just if you need to get offline for a while and unplug do that you don't have to watch prices every day even if the end is today it's not like we're going to go back to 65k tomorrow or next week it's going to take time especially with this kind of drop and this kind of market it's just going to take time to get back we will get back we'll be at all-time highs sometime in the next six 12 months simmer down Okay, on the daily chart, let's see where we're going for the short term. Short term, next several weeks to maybe even a month. Let's see, let's see where we're going. So on the daily chart, we want to look at our previous local low, which was back in January, which was this candle right here. If you look at this area, we spent a lot of time right in here. The low on this was 29,156, but it closed at 30,407. If you wonder where I'm getting those numbers, it's right up here. So if you move your cursor, this is on trading view, by the way, if you're new. And these, these are the moving averages. So this is our 21 EMA, our 50, and our 100, and our 200. So this is our lowest closing candle of the year. It closed at 30,407. We're close to that now, aren't we? We could do that today. We would like to close above that. That would be a good sign for the short term. One could also argue that we've already broken certain levels and we're probably going lower. And by that, I look at the weekly chart. I present to you the weekly chart. Uh, now, same same thing, just on a weekly scale. So each of these candles is a week instead of one day, like we just looked at. So we've already broken our 50-week moving average that we've held for support since our May drop, May 17th drop, the week of May 17th, when we had our cataclysmic red waterfall. We've held that support perfectly since then, and we just closed below it yesterday, uh, Sunday night. So that's where we are now, and now we're here. Does that mean we're going down here? Odds are probably at some point. Does that mean we're going there this week or next week? Not necessarily, and I'll show you why. Uh, but this is where we are now. Price is 30,753 as of recording. So what do I mean? Like, if we're going down here, why wouldn't we go now? Well, let's go look at the last bear market. Look at our last fall down in 2018, the end of our 2017 bull going in 2018 bear. We broke down here and look at the support up to 50 week. We wicked down well under it here. Look at this. We were 14% under it roughly before a nice next week. Within the next week, we did 100% rally. That's pretty amazing. Now look at what we did when we come back down again. We held it as support again. Then we broke through it, which kind of were similar to this right now, in my opinion. And we went down roughly 12% under it again before, you guessed it, another rally. We didn't go straight to our 100-week, did we? That was a 55% rally. So we had a 100% rally here and a 55% here over the next five weeks, right? One, two, three, four, five. And then we came back down to our 100-week and held it as support. So that is until, right, we didn't. Now, I don't think we're going to do anything like this, but nothing's impossible in crypto. The only thing impossible is impossibleness. I don't know. Uh, but that's this is my point. Everyone's calling for us to can have another big drop or go right to 25K before moving to the upside, which we just looked at the facts say that that's not how it has to go. So do we have a turnaround this week, next week, tomorrow, today, tonight? Next four minutes, we don't know. We just gotta watch. Don't try to guess. Don't try to use your emotion or what somebody said on Twitter or what your grandma said or what your uncle is in the stock market saying. Just look at the charts. The charts say that we don't have to go straight to here. Although likely at some point, maybe. Okay, let's look at the monthly. Look for more support levels. Well, this is our 21 month moving average, 21 month moving average okay that right now where is it i'm glad you asked 26387 do we hold that as support well let's look at history again 
going back to 2018 bear market. We first time we hit it, yes, we held it as support, and we had our you know that five week rally that we just talked about bounce off of it perfectly, then held it again for another one month, two month, three month, four month. The fifth month is when we broke below it. Now the 21 month moving average has only been around for the past roughly four years. So we only have two data points to go off of for support or lack thereof, I should say. These were the local bottoms after we've broken that macro term bottoms. Now, why I say like we only have two data points of support is because right here, like there's one break and there's another break, right? We haven't ever held it, but only two data points. So maybe this time is different. We'll have to see. But that level right now, which won't change that much, 26,387. So we'd want to hold that at least initially before a nice rally. Maybe we get a rally. We don't know. We don't have crystal balls. We can't see the future. But a wick right to here, possibly sometime this month. But this month's running out, right? 12 days, 10 hours. Maybe it's next month we have the brief wick and then we get a rally. We'll have to wait and see. But just my job is to present to you some information. So you have it to go off of that you didn't have before. Nothing paid, nothing shilled. I don't have any thing to sell you. Just trying to help you out. Help you avoid all the mistakes that I've made being in crypto for five years. I've seen it all. It's been through a lot of storms. Uh, but this is macro as it gets, right? The monthly chart. Let's go look at the Gaussian channel and see what we're looking like there. So let's take off our moving averages so we don't get too much going on at one point in time. And you want to look at it on the five day chart. The Gaussian channel tends to represent uh, levels of support at each of these lines. As you can see here, support for now each candle here is five days. So we've held it for a few, almost a few weeks here, then broke through it. And then we came down to our median line and held support for another 5, 10, 15, 20 days. And then we close below it finally. So where do we likely go? Yes, the bottom of the channel is likely our next support, which is in very close agreement to that 21 month moving average and also the 100 week moving average, right around that 26, 26K level. Wicks, sure, but closes, not likely, but look back at history for Bitcoin. Anytime you're near the bottom of a channel, it represents the buying opportunities of a lifetime. So look at this. We held the bottom of the channel for a long time and look when we break below it, the buying opportunities of a lifetime. Look when we break below it, the buying opportunities of a lifetime. This is when you can become rich. Bull markets make you money, bear markets make you rich. This is case in point. This is what that means if you've heard that before. Buying in here, this is what makes you rich. Not buying up here when everyone says, you know, it's a 50K, we're going to 200 for sure by the end of the year. 300K by the end of the year. Everyone is saying that back in here. No. Smart money buys here. Smart money sells to you here, right? Dumb money buys here. Dumb money sells here. Opposite. The 3% succeed in trading because they follow a system. They're disciplined. And they don't listen to all the news and the hype. Facts in the charts, that's what they follow. Buying at the bottom of a Gaussian channel represents a great opportunity. Even if we don't get under it, don't be too greedy. You don't want to try to time the bottoms and the tops. You want to get in at good buys. Who cares if you were to buy Bitcoin at 7K or 3K or 4K, right? You would have a little bit more, but you don't want to miss it, is my point. <laughs> you don't want to... Uh, you know, wait for a $22,000 Bitcoin, let's say, and it goes to 24 and then proceeds to, you know, go to 100K and you're still waiting for 24, right? That happened a lot back and when we were around 10K. Everyone was waiting for us to go back down and to fill the CME gap and that never even happened and there's still people waiting for that. Uh, do we fill it? Not likely Bitcoin ever goes back to 10K, but we will see. The Gaussian channel indicators help you decide what the odds are and where the turnaround will likely be. Right now, we have several indicators, our 100 week moving average, right around 25, 26K. Our Gaussian channel bottom is at 26K and our, 100, our 21 month EMA is around 26K. When we have multiple charts in agreement, 
then you can be more confident that your odds are in your favor of those being big support levels. You don't want to look for one chart or one indicator to say something. You don't want to go off of that. But if you have many charts on many different time frames and they're all saying similar levels, then you can be more confident that that is the play. So that's Bitcoin USD for today. That's what to look for. Let's do the card of the day. I appreciate you guys being here this long. If you have thumbs up, give us thumbs up, Twitter, Telegram, Patreon, all linked in the description below. Uh, the card of the day is a German Porsche Carrera GT. Collector cars now. These are these are hard to come by. I think they're all over a million dollars. Correct me if I'm wrong. You know more than I do about Carreras. Carrera GT is super collector item uh, for the real car, not these. Talk them, talk them real. But look at the stance on this thing. Massive engine in the back. All right, we'll do another video on this on our you know YouTube shorts shortly with the light box. If you haven't seen that yet, check them out. I got a couple cars already. Uh, quote of the day. Let's do quote of the day. Better keep yourself clean and bright. You are the window through which you must see the world. By George Bernard Shaw. Now, I like quotes of the day because one, they're, you know, they make you think, right? They're also more subjective in interpretation. So there's probably a handful of you that'll read this one way or interpret this one way and there's me my 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 vision might be different to me this this kind of sums up in a nutshell basically how you view yourself is how you're going to view the world if you're always down on yourself and negative and pessimistic you're probably going to find negative and pessimistic things about the world if you're positive about yourself and about the way your life is and you look for the good in you and your life then you'll probably view more of the world like that so that is my interpretation. Maybe you have something completely different. And that's fine too. To me, quotes are good for you to, you know, interpret in your own brain. If they mean something different to you and they help you, no matter if the interpretation is wrong, then it helped you and it's good, right? So George Bernard Shaw, let's go look at this guy. I actually studied him in high school. I, It was familiar. His, his name was familiar. I did a whole report on Pygmalion. He had a book. He wrote a book in 1912. I had to write a... 20 years later, I graduated high school in 2002. Yes, I'm that old. I know I don't look that old. People tell me I look very young. But yeah, I wrote a book report for my senior English class for Pygmalion from this guy. George Bernard Shaw. What she just goes by Bernard Shaw. I never knew him as George Bernard Shaw. But that's him. You can pause it and read about him if you want. You probably won't. <laughs> I don't blame you. Uh, but that's him, and that's the video. I don't have anything else. Look for the card of the day. Ask, ask me any questions. I'll try to respond to everyone's comments below if you got any questions. But that's Bitcoin in a nutshell. Just have patience. We'll we'll get out of this. If you're looking to buy, then you have a couple of little buy levels, in my opinion. Nothing's financial advice. It's just all my opinion. Do your own research. Follow whoever you want on Twitter. But don't, don't trade the news. Don't trade your emotions. You have to have a system in place. That's why I'm here. I'm here to help you. Watch my YouTube videos. We have a free Patreon or free Telegram. We have a paid Patreon for those of you who want to learn a little bit more. It's not much. $10 starting level, $35. goes up from there if you need more help. But it's for your own investment. Invest in yourself. Invest in your future. And we'll get there together. I don't know. I sound a little sappy. But that's... That's it. That's it. That's all I have. All right. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. 46 gold stars today. You almost made 50. Maybe someday. Someday. 